Hey, over here, we're at Disney's Animal Kingdom and we're gonna try the vegan Earth Month treats. Here, there's two of them. One is the returning favorite over at Tara's Treats. It's a mushroom leek pizza that's so good. I can't wait to try it again. And then there's gonna be another one over at Tiffin's. And we haven't been to Tiffin's since they changed the menu. So we're gonna check that out. So stay with us, come on. Okay, we've gotten our pizza from Terra Treats, which I always want to say Terra Eats or Terra's Treats, but it's Terra Treats, <laughs> which is right before you walk into the village of Harambe in Africa. And we got a corner piece, which is very exciting. Nice and crispy. So I'm gonna give it a try. It smells really good. Mm. Sorry, I'm standing on a rock. It's so good. You have to come here and get this. It's only here until April 30th. And the booth, Terra Treats, is only open from 11 to 2 p.m. So run over to Animal Kingdom and get one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and try the methi paratha. This looks and smells exactly like what the farmhouse meatball over at Epcot for the festival of flower and garden festival is right now. So I think it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, it doesn't normally come with this dip, so I don't know if it's gonna be a clash of flavors, but we're gonna give it a try. Hmm, it's actually really interesting together. It kind of tastes the ginger, a little Thanksgiving-y with the pear and the ginger together. Um, let me try a bite without. Yeah, it's pretty dry, which is my issue with the farmhouse meatball as well. So I would definitely use this. You can probably also ask for any of the other dips that come with the bread service because two of those are vegan as is. Or I guess all three of them maybe are vegan. It's just the cheese bread that's not vegan, but the guava dip that it comes with is, so. I also have the delicious vanilla passion fruit iced tea, which I love here. Okay, all of our food has now arrived, but I'm gonna try the bread. And this is the coconut Thai curry sauce, which looks very exciting. It's like thick. Mmm. Mmm. That was actually the guava. Definitely guava. Hold on, this is the Thai curry down here then. Because we got two of them. This looks more like coconut milk. Mm. So good. It tastes like the sauce that I used to get on chicken satay, which I haven't had in a million years. Really good peanut sauce. Okay. I'll try pop it on really quick. I know I like the curry so or the chutney, so I'm not gonna try it. This is really good. It's got um, curry salt on it, I think she said. So I would definitely get the bread service again. It's very fun flavors. Okay, so in the zucchini carpaccio from the land, we have land zucchini, um, and then marinated tomatoes, candied pistachios, castel vetrano olives, golden raisins, plant-based feta, pomegranate molasses, that's the little drizzle on there, which they used to serve with the bread before, and uh, crispy sweet potato on top. So it sounds really exciting to me, except for the olives. <laughs> so I'm gonna avoid an olive. Um, I don't have any idea how to eat this though. It's kind of a crazy serving size. Okay. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, much like the pizza, you need to run down and get this. These flavors are so good. Mmm, it's got that kick of 
Uh, oh no, the Szechuan oil's in there. It does have a little kick of something. This is really, really good. I'm trying to bow right now. It's gonna be messy, I know. It's like dripping through and falling apart. I love mushrooms, but I don't know if I love mushrooms this much, but let's find out. I actually really like it. Um, it's kind of like a sweet sauce, so like a hoisin type sauce, if you're familiar with that. And yes, the mushrooms are slimy, but I'm okay with it because I really like mushrooms. And the cucumbers marinated are really good too. It's really a great dish. If you like mushrooms, I would definitely recommend it. If you're not a fan, skip this one. Lastly, trying the Szechuan noodles. Again, this replaced the grilled marinated tofu that I loved so much. But I do love Szechuan anything, so it looks like it has corn in it and there's Japanese eggplant and Szechuan oil yakisoba noodles. Yeah, it's really, really good. Not too much of a kick. It's not really spicy. But it's a great flavor if you like Szechuan flavors. Oh yeah, there's a little kick now. So it probably just depends on where you get the Szechuan oil, chili oil. There are some uh, what look like trumpet mushrooms in here. I could have that name wrong. I don't have all my mushrooms memorized. And some zucchini, so I'm gonna try one of those. Hmm, that was actually a cucumber. Yeah, I mean, this is a good size too. It's pretty filling, so. I recommend this dish, it's really good. I had to get the, <laughs> I had to get the new dessert. Mango sticky rice. I have no idea what else is in it because I didn't even look at the menu. I just said, bring me the plant-based dessert. It looks like a lot more than just sticky rice, so. but I'm gonna try the rice from the bottom. This must be like a mango curd of some sort. Mm. That's pretty good. Lots of noises. I don't know what this thing on the top is. Oh, it's like ice cream, coconut lime flavored. This is really good. So a million years ago in Norway, they used to sell the rice cream, but without strawberries or apple or whatever in it. And that used to be one of my favorite things back in the eighties. Um, it's not vegan, so you can't get it now, but this reminds me of that. Okay, so what is in this is sweet jasmine rice, mango gelée, and then it's lemon verbena avocado ice cream avocado sauce, which you can see there's a little green flecks of it. Um, and then this is a sesame florentine, which I had a bite of off camera and it's very, very crunchy, like super hard and it will stick in your teeth. So I'm just gonna try it one more time, knowing that this is lemon and not lime. Mm. It's very delicate, like a lemon sherbet. Yeah, I wish there was like 800 more mounds of the rice because it's really really good but all together it's very nice and it's not like too heavy so that's gonna do it for us here at animal kingdom make sure you get down here before april 30th to get that mushroom impossible sausage or meatball i guess impossible meatball and leek pizza over at terra treats and also the zucchini carpaccio at tiffin's which is so worth the trip we went there for lunch and there was almost no one there. There was tons of reservations, so try to make it over there, get that. It was so good. The mixture of the plant-based feta with the little marinated bits and the candied pistachios, so good. Um, also, we tried Tiffin's, which we hadn't tried since the new menu came out. I really enjoyed the Szechuan noodles. The bao bun was great. I probably wouldn't get everything all again if I went back but I really enjoyed what we did have and the new dessert was great as well. I wish it was just sticky rice. The mango gelé didn't really add that much in my opinion. It wasn't very tart, uh, but the sticky rice itself and the ice cream were super good. Let me know if you give either the pizza or the zucchini a try during Earth Month. And thank you so much for watching Vegan Disney Food, your plant-based guide to the magic. Tiffin's backwards is sniff it. Did you guys know that? <laughs>